Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do the top five, um, well not the top five, but I'm going to do five very simple, very easy projects that you can do as a beginner in sublimation. Um, I know when I first started sublimation, it was very um, intimidating. There's a lot to learn about sublimation. And when you're a beginner, you may not know all the terminology. You may not know where to find blanks. It's just a lot of information and a lot of trial and error that goes along with sublimation. So I decided to go ahead and put together five really easy projects that you can do as a beginner at sublimation so that you can learn. There's one of the biggest things about sublimation is that you you got to you just have to you just have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to just get in there and you just have to start doing it. And there's going to be a couple things that you mess up on, but these blanks that I have today and these little projects I have, they're going to be super simple, super easy. And they're also, these blanks are also really um, cheap to find so that you can have the room to mess up without losing a bunch of money on mess, messing up on more expensive blanks. So these are just some... Um, projects you can do as a beginner maybe you can if you can give them to your friends to your family because you're you're just starting out whatever the case may be or they're really quick projects for you to start selling if you're looking to hurry up and start making money they're super quick super simple um little add-ons that you could um start to sell so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it All right guys, so the first project we're going to do is a t-shirt. Um, now this is a Gildan um, performance t-shirt, which is 100% cotton. And I'm trying to show you here. I know that the ring light kind of, <laughs> you can't really see it, but it is 100% polyester. And it's Gildan Performance. I did get this from Jiffy Shirts. I do buy these in bulk typically um, in a range of a few sizes like medium and large uh, for myself. And then we're just going to take this lint roller and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we lint roll it really good. Just because um, when you heat up polyester shirts at 400 degrees, though, if there's lint on it, it turns like this bluish color if you didn't get it all off. So you want to make sure that you lint roll really, really good. And then I am going to be using my Easy Press for all of these projects, okay? Every single one of them. I do have the Easy Press 3, which does get up to 400 degrees. And I do have, I think, two or three videos uh, reviewing the Easy Press 3 if you would like to check out a review. What I'm doing now is I'm putting a piece of witcher paper on the inside of the shirt just to make sure that no ink bleeds through to the back of the shirt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my image face down. I'm gonna cover it with butcher paper. And then we're gonna take our Easy Press and we're gonna put it right on top. And we're gonna press this at 400 degrees for one minute. Now the process of sublimation is basically you are adhering, you are, <clears throat> the, the process of using the heat, it activates the ink and it adheres to the fibers of the shirt. That's why you can't um, really sublimate on black because the ink actually adheres to the fiber. So it has to have something to grab onto. So that's why you can't sub on black. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the easy press. We're going to remove the butcher paper carefully and we're going to remove our a sub paper and that is so beautiful okay beautiful it came out really really vibrant really really pretty the next thing we're going to do is a mouse pad this is also really easy to get your hands on you can pretty much find mouse pads almost anywhere Etsy um amazon alibaba i mean they're pretty much everywhere so it's really easy to get your hands on and they're really inexpensive they ne normally come in at least packs of like 10 at bare minimum what i'm going to do is go ahead and tape this one down just because it is a little bit smaller i don't want it to move around and cause ghosting i have a piece of butcher paper underneath it i'm going to put a piece of butcher paper on top and then we're going to go ahead and press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds as well i will link everything all of my blanks my ink my printer my paper 
the easy press the i mean literally everything that i use in this video will be linked down in the description box below so please make sure you are checking there first for any materials that you have any questions on about where to get them from all right then we're going to go ahead and remove the easy press we're going to remove the butcher paper and then we're going to remove the tape and the a sub paper and that came out really good as well it is kind of hot that's why i'm holding it by the corners like that but that came out extremely extremely vibrant as well the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do a bonnet now this is not polyester this is actually satin and i did buy so i have two different kinds of bonnets i had a friend um sew one for me and then i purchased some this is the one that i purchased i can tell by the band um but what i'm doing is i'm going to go ahead and lint roll it yes you can sublimate on white satin okay I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, image to size and we are going to go ahead and put it in sub this on the bonnets. Y'all this came out really really cute too. I love doing bonnets. I love doing bonnets. You can absolutely sublimate on white bonnets. So I'm just going to go ahead and press this. I, I think I'm going to press this one for 45 seconds. It was either 45 or 60 seconds but we're also doing um, 400 degrees with this one as well and like I said I do have at least like two or three videos where I am reviewing and demonstrating the Cricut Easy Press 3 um, why I like it and yes it does go up to 400 degrees so if you have the first Easy Press um, I would definitely suggest upgrading but I'm just removing the butcher paper removing the tape and voila Oh, and the seam is hot. That's why I'm like dropping it. But the um, the inside of the bonnet does not melt either. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to be a mask. And I'm just going to go same exact process. I'm just going to go ahead and lint roll it. I'm going to cut my image to size. We're going to tape it down, cover it, and press it. I would definitely love it if you guys could join my Facebook group. It's called Crafty Mamas with an S. I will link it down below as well as follow me on social media on Instagram and TikTok. It'll be linked down my low, below, down below. Instagram is um, Angel B Crafting and um, my TikTok is Angel B Designs. And then I am doing this one for 400 degrees as well for uh, 60 seconds. Nope, actually I did this one for 45 seconds. Removing the butcher paper, removing the tape, and there it is. Now the last thing we're going to do is a mug. I absolutely love doing mugs. Mugs are so, so easy, especially with the Cricut Mug Press. You are able to use a convection oven if you have one. Um, you are able to use a um, like the mug press attachment if you have one for your heat press however you use heat to activate it on your mug that's your preference because I don't sell mugs or anything like that to anybody and I only use them for myself or family and friends I definitely definitely like the um, the Cricut mug press so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use now. I'm going to put the butcher paper over it and then I'm gonna put it inside of the mug press and then we're gonna press this for about five minutes and we are all done. This came out super, super cute as well, you guys. All of these projects are super beginner friendly, super easy to do. Hopefully I was able to explain everything and show you guys exactly how to do everything. If you have any questions that I didn't necessarily cover in this video or in the description box, don't forget to drop a comment down below to definitely um, ask or reach out and I will try to answer as best as I can. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. I truly, truly appreciate it. But this is how the mug turned out and it is so pretty and so vibrant. Thank you guys. Bye.